Illustrator has evolved and changed so much since I've started using it in 97. And it's given us some better, newer tools to make our lives easier and to make us more efficient when we're drawing a flat sketch. Some designers, however, still like to use what I like to call the traditional method of drawing a flat sketch. Now, don't get me wrong. The traditional method is tried and true and it always works. It's just a little slower than some of the more modern methods. So if you need to get something done yesterday, the traditional method is probably not the best method to use. Now, having said that, for some things, I prefer it. Tees, knit tops, pants, skirts all lend themselves very well to the modern method. But once you start drawing jackets, coats, things with a hood, um, anything that has a crossover, the traditional method can be a better choice. So today I wanna to talk to you about what the traditional method is and how to use it. So what is the traditional method? In Illustrator, you'll always hear people talking about closed shapes. And the reason for this is so you can add color to your sketches. Whereas with Photoshop, an item needs to just look like it's closed to add color. In Illustrator, it has to actually be closed. It's not enough for the lines to be close or touching each other. Anchor points have to be joined. Using the modern method, you can just use the shape builder tool to create your closed shapes. But when you're drawing something more complicated than a knit top or a pair of pants, it may be easier to revert to using a more traditional method of sketching. The question I get asked most when using this method is, how do I figure out where to close the shape? And my response is always to think of your sketch as if you were creating a pattern. If you have to make a separate pattern piece, you generally need to create a separate closed shape. And once those items are filled with white or some other color and rearranged using bring to front or send to back, you'll have a sketch created with all closed shapes. Watch how I do this when drawing a tailored jacket. With a jacket, if I were making a pattern, I would make a piece for the torso, the sleeve, the collar, the lapel, the pocket welt, and the pocket flat. So let's go ahead and start drawing this.
Now, some things don't exactly go by this method. For instance, to show color on the lining, you don't need to draw an exact shape. Usually, I just draw a rectangle large enough to cover the area. Once it's sent to the back, you can't tell the difference. So even though I use the modern method a lot more than I use the traditional method, I encourage my students to learn both. There's good reason to have both methods in your Illustrator toolkit so that you can decide which one is more appropriate for whatever you're sketching. Thanks for watching this week's tutorial. If you are new to Illustrator for Fashion, make sure you check out the links in the description to learn more about my classes and to get some great freebies. Also, my company is sponsoring a competition in January for new designers and new businesses. So if you want more information about that, make sure you check out the link in the description and make sure you enter by December 18th. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.